Hello to everybody watching. Uh, I'm in my workshop this morning and I'm just going to make a start on another little job on my boiler. Uh, this is my boiler in front of you. I made that a, a short while back and I did a 12, 12 part series I think on making that boiler from scratch. Uh, if you've not seen it and you're interested take a look at that. But, but my boiler's complete now and I'm moving on to the fittings. I've done uh, a few fittings already and now I'm moving on to the blowdown valve which fits at the bottom of the boiler on the outer firebox just there. Uh, that's got a blanking plug in at the moment but it, it'll fit there. So this is the blowdown valve. I'll just show you a, a picture, a, a, a shot at drawing. Uh, it's this one here. I shall be deviating slightly from this drawing and I'll explain later uh, exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm not doing this as a, a machining exercise so I shan't be showing you me doing the machining. I've, I've shown you on some of my other fittings the machine inside uh, so I'll just be showing you the parts as I make them and explain what I'm doing. OK, I'll just explain the, this valve to you and the changes I'm making. Um, it's, it's made, it's fabricated in two parts, this, this, um, this valve. Well, three parts. Well, four parts if you count the tube and the, the, um, the stop. Uh, so the body's made in two parts. We'll concentrate on body. That's these two shaded parts. And if you look here, they're half inch diameter. They're both half inch diameter, and one sits on top of other, and it's silver soldered together. And I think you're supposed to put a little spigot in in the end of one of them. It doesn't show you that on drawing, but it explains in in right up. Well, I think that's a bit of a a bad way of doing it, really. But you've got two round components wanting to sit on each other like that and it's going to leave um, it's going to leave steps all over the place just here look if you can see it'll in effect be like that soldered together with a spigot on here and I'm not really happy with that so I've, got, I've gone about it a different way uh, basically these, these two pieces that make the body up I've now made them on my lathe and I've done a 45 degree cut in a, in each of them so that's um, that's that piece and that's the right angle piece there I've done a 45 degree cut across it and I'm just going to swivel that round and silver solder it to give me my 90 degrees like so so if you can see that drawing now and, and, and how that compares like so uh, and then I'll, when I've soldered it I'll just have to drill finish drilling my holes my ports to, to, to intersect with each other after I've soldered it so, I've done the body parts, that's 5 sixteenths uh, ME, which is 5 sixteenths 32, same with the, with the other end, I'm just going to zoom out a bit because I'm a bit near the camera, uh, so that's 5 sixteenths, and that, that bit fits into the boiler, that screws into the boiler, like so. And then you've got a, a blanking plug in this end uh, with this piece of copper tube either soldered in or threaded in so the uh, the water escapes away from boiler. Um, because I'm making a different... F uh, I'm putting two wheels on the back of my engine so I've got to change design of this slightly. Instead of that 
pipe coming out the bottom, it's going to be coming out the side, like so. So I've done that part, I'm ready now for silver soldering that together. Then uh, I've got to drill my holes to meet, and then I'm going to move on to making this plug that fits in this end. So my next job is to silver solder that together. Okay, so I'm ready for soldering it now. I've set it up in me uh, on a couple of fire bricks. I've mixed a bit of uh, easy flow flux up and I've coated both surfaces, uh, cleaned them and coated them. So I'm ready now for uh, brazing it. I think I said brazing at the beginning, I meant silver soldering. Okay, so I'll just let that cool naturally and then uh, we'll continue. Okay, that's, uh, that's that finished now. I've drilled the, the holes to meet, to meet each other. I've made the, um, the stop end to seal it. I just need a fibre washer on that and a fibre washer on that. And uh, going back to drawing, I've shown you how I'd altered that design there. I didn't, I didn't like that. And I've done a 45 degree soldered joint there. And I think it looks better. So all I've got to do now is, and I'm not doing that just, just yet, is drill a hole for a piece of copper pipe uh, in a suitable place to come off uh, so it misses everything on me uh, on my frame of me, me loco where my wheels are uh, anyway uh, thanks for watching and if you've not seen my other videos take a look at them and uh, I made this boiler from scratch if you want to take a look at that and I'm just going to continue with fittings now and I'll probably do a, a few videos of various fittings that I do uh, so thanks for watching, uh, bye for now then.